hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm sharing a simple yet effective diy facial that you can do right at home using ingredients you already have in your kitchen i want everybody to be able to do this facial so i've used affordable drugstore products that are easily accessible if you're experiencing breakouts texture irregularities dark spots then this video is right for you i always start my facial with a steamer whether i'm doing a facial on my clients or on myself i have to make sure that the steam is on this is going to help soften out the debris and the dirt on your skin so it's easy when you're cleansing your skin because it's going to be soft i'm using clean and clear cleanser before i even got into skincare this was my first cleanser that was six years ago and i always find myself going back to this cleanser it is super gentle anybody can use it depending on the skin type that you have they have so many cleansers for acne for dry skin if you're breaking out they have options but because i have dry skin that's the one that i chose After cleansing, my second step is exfoliation. I'm using Dimalogica Microfoliant. This is my favorite exfoliator. It's a combination of chemical, physical, and enzymes, enzymatic. So it's really super gentle on your skin. This is going to remove the dead skin cells off your from your skin. It's also going to reveal softer skin and also brighter skin. If you don't have this exfoliator, don't worry, you can use oatmeal, you can mix oatmeal flour and water and you're good to go. Or if you can also mix soda and water, you're good to go. You don't have to break the bank. It's extraction time. I'm just looking at my skin in places that I would like to do extraction, mainly around my nose and my chin. That's it. I don't have many blackheads or many congestions. You can also use Q-tip if you like to do extractions or just your fingertips. You don't need more. Like I said, I don't really have more congestions on my skin but just because you can't see it with your eyes doesn't mean that you can just avoid the steps. It's important to go in the places that you think you have those things because you'll be surprised things coming out of those places. So for me, it has been always around my nose and my chin, those areas, but that's it. I'm not going to forget my under eyes. Very, very important. Early signs of aging is going to start under your eyes, around your eyes. So it's important to take care of your eyes. You can use so many things. There's eye cream, eye mask. I'm using faded eye patches. I love, love, love them. You have to keep this for a long time. So that was the best time to put that because I'm putting this so that I can have time to prepare my mask that I'm about to put soon after putting these eye patches. So you will need egg whites, Greek yogurt, should be plain, then honey. So I've said I'm only going to use egg whites. Egg whites is great for congestion. It's also great for tightening your skin. It's also going to minimize your appearance of pores. 
In egg whites, we are going to add Greek yogurt. Yogurt contains lactic acid, which is going to exfoliate your skin, revealing smoother, brighter skin. Yogurt is also rich in probiotics, which is going to balance your pH of your skin. Honey is a natural humectant, but it is also an antibacterial. So if you're dealing with breakouts, this is a great ingredient to have. We're going to mix that up, then ready to put on our skin. I left this for 30 minutes i'm not playing with my skin so as soon as it gets dry then it's time to remove the mask just look at my skin facial is not a facial without a sheet mask so we have to add tons of hydration in any concerns that you're dealing with, whether you have acne, whether you have congestion, whether you have damaged skin barrier, hydration is going to heal your skin. So remember, always hydrate your skin by using hydrating mask, mainly sheet mask. So now, soon after that mask, we are still hydrating our skin. But also, for people who are dealing with breakouts, this is for you. You can use aloe vera as just a moisturizer. And also, if you have damaged skin barrier or your skin is super hydrated, then this is great for you. So, soon after that mask, I'm just going in with aloe vera, aloe vera gel, all over my skin. This is going to promote healing in whatever is going on with my skin. Last step, I'm adding an oil, not just any other oil. This is rosehip seed oil. Rosehip seed oil contains vitamin A. Vitamin A is a retinol. This is not the first time I'm mentioning rosehip seed oil. If you go back to my old videos, I've been mentioning rosehip seed oil. This is going to do everything that retinol does. It's going to help with your texture brightens up your skin if you have breakout it's going to heal your breakouts so this is a special oil i've been using this for a long time now and if you haven't used rosehip seed oil start yesterday this facial cannot end without doing guasa it just has this calming effect relaxation blood circulation and just to contour my cheeks it promotes also lift so i just love to do this once in a while watched from the beginning to the end you are the real one and god should bless you for me i really appreciate thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video